We're here at ASHG 2015 and we're talking about how you can use digital PCR to confirm NGS results. So Marian, I wanted to ask you how you use digital PCR to confirm your NGS results. So we have a collaborator, Jose Costa, from the Epatimov Institute in Portugal. And Jose sequenced uh, cell-free DNA samples that were obtained from plasma. DNA, from plasma. And he used next-generation sequencing. And for all of his samples, he obtained a low mutation rate um, for KRAS and EGFR mutations. Okay, what was the mutation rate that he was looking at? So for all of the samples, he obtained below 1%, and he was looking to verify his next generation sequencing results with an independent method. And we chose uh, digital PCR to verify with as an independent method uh, because of its sensitivity level. And specifically, we use the Font Studio 3D with our rare mutation assays. The rare mutation assays are tagmentsive genotyping assays that have been optimized for use in digital PCR. So you get good cluster separation and high signal. So we ran his experiments on his samples and we obtained very good agreement between the next generation sequencing data and our digital PCR results. So we verified his low mutation rate. Well, thanks, Marian, for sharing the information on your poster. If you want to download this poster, go to the SlideShare link anywhere you see this video.